All right, hello and welcome to Season 2, Week 1, against Moku. Currently doing this uh, analysis right before we battle. So we've got Rotom Wash here, very defensive variant, uh, to help wall their Mega Gallade. Let's get their team open right here. Uh, Mega Gallade, Landers, and Kirin Black all should be fairly walled by this thing. So I think it's a definite bring. And it will also be the first time I'm bringing it, which is surprising. This is the only thing I haven't used yet. Uh, pump, Switch, Wisp, Defog, pretty standard set. Just meant to wall a lot of things, recover with leftovers, cripple stuff with Will-O-Wisp, and get rid of hazards. Uh, has a decent matchup against the rest of the team, along with Cloyster. Uh, fine against Smeargle, I guess. Volt Switch out. And Gotharita again, Volt Switch out. But for these grass types and Magnazo and stuff like that, we've got some other answers. <clears throat> One of them being Typhlosion. Scarfed this time to outspeed the Mega Gallade. Give it Eruption, HP Grass, of course, for Quagsire. Overheat and Flamethrower. A pretty standard set, I think, uh, running Max Special Attack on the Scarf set. Nothing I really need to outspeed that much. Except maybe a Scarf Lando who loses really hard to this, but yeah. I've got Colberberry, uh, Mew, all out special attacker with max speed. Just as much coverage as I can get, with this being to stuff knockoffs from stuff like uh, Lando T and uh, whatever his name is, Mega Glade. Do I want Focus Blast? Now, Focus Blast is getting its Curum Black and Magnazone. I think it's pretty necessary. Psychic, obviously good. Giga Drain needs something for Quag. And Cloyster. So, yeah, this is a good set. Uh, Shadow Ball for Mega Glade, because I do need a way to beat that. And that should do quite a bit of damage. Uh, Hawaii, the Venusaur. Black Sludge, Overgrow. They max HP set along with the max special attack. I'm gonna hit stuff up for pretty good damage while also being able to take hits from stuff like Breloom, Amoongus, and Magnazone, which is why I have EQ and I'm not running minus attack, instead of running minus speed, as I'm not really trying to outspeed much. Um, my biggest fear is this thing getting trapped by a Gotharita, but that has not shown up yet. So I'm not too scared of it. This can also absorb uh, Spore from Smeargle, which is very, very good. Uh, Black Sludge for the healing and Overgrow, because there's no reason to run Chlorophyll on this set. And that extra Grass Power could be really good if I get outsped and then Giga Dream. Uh, six systemic Ownage, the Silvali Fairy. Uh, just walls a lot of his team. Multi-Attack, Ice Beam, Thunder Wave, U-Turn. All have their own uses to cripple things. Uh, Ice Beam, obviously Lando T. Uh, whatever it is, multi attack for a Kiram B, because this thing cannot do very much damage to it. Amoongus uh, is weird, it's like it's not put into the dock right somehow. I'm going to assume they have Amoongus, because it's on there. It just isn't working right. It says it has base 115 speed, that couldn't be any less true. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of stuff for Amoongus, like, you know, basically everything else I have on my team. And then U-turn for good pivoting. So, you know, if I come in on a Kirin Black, I'll probably just U-turn out. Because uh, I assume they're going to switch. And even if I, even if they stay in, it's fine. They're going to hit me with some weak attack and I U-turn. And then Dragonite, also known as Dragon D's. Citrus Berry Multi Scale. Citrus Berry for healing, because I think I need the heals. But I don't want to run Roost because I want extreme speed. Uh, just to pick stuff off, like a Cloyster brought down to Sash but has a uh, Shell Smash up. Gonna need a way to beat that. And this is the main way, along with Defensive Rotom. D-Dance, obviously, to raise my speed and attack. Ice Punch and Earthquake, because it's great coverage. Uh, Ice Punch, you need that to hit Lando T, and the two Grass types. 
and then EQ Magnazone, obviously. Otherwise, uh, this thing's walled by Mag. And then everything else hits pretty decent, but I will have to get rid of Quagsire to make this work. But I am max attack for the most possible damage on it. So yeah, that's gonna be it. They have not sent me the challenge yet, but I will just cut and then wait until the challenge is here. Hope we win. All right. <clears throat> Let's finally get to the battle. Alright, about what we expected. Get the link. Oh, they got it perfect. Alright, what's the lead here? I think the lead is... Could just be this. Let's see. No land OT. Good to see. No Amoongus. No Mag and no Cloyster. Perfect. This thing goes quite a bit harder. delete this. Worked out, <laughs> at least I'd say. I think I'd just hit him up with an EQ. Good job, Bronze Basher, you took one. That goes in a bit hard on my team, realizing it now. Yeah, make him hit him hit me up with the CC. And then why did I what the fuck was I thinking about on this team? Am I using the wrong team or am I just stupid? I feel like I should have had more. I am using the wrong team. I guess that's what I get for playing at 6 a.m. just so I can actually get this match done, but... Oh wait, this is slightly better. This thing's annoying. Is I shocked it more? You. I'm gonna get stalled. Oh boy. Taunt, confide, rest, and what? I'm just gonna try to waste all my PP. Actually, gonna try to freeze it first. You're going for this? I think I deserve a freeze. Does this do more? Please. Thank fuck. Did not I hate dealing with that kind of strat. <sighs> Fucking god. KB. This exists. Ah damn it, I could have gone thickums. 
you going to be HP fighting? I guess I'll have to find out. I'm, yeah, be, okay, one, I'm stupid because I put the T-Wave on an Assault Vest, so that's good for my next match, I guess. <laughs> okay, good, good to notice that I'm stupid there. Ooh, the AV coming in big. Ooh, not big enough. It's fine, I'm just gonna iron head here because then I can erupt. Or I can hit power grass if I'm feeling frisky. But I don't, I don't think there's a point to that. Knock off your lefties. Missile min 62 on basically max defense. Min 62, 60.9 on true max. So good to know we can't live this without a dodge, of course. 14, 13, 13, 13, 14, 5. There we go. Get rid of that. Do I live a Zen head? But if I do, that would be amazing. There's a chance, and it's jolly, which it has to be to outspeed Typhlosion. Oh, please try to read me in CC or knock. I, if I get rid of this, it should be game for Typhlosion, because then I just sack this. Yes, baby! It was a percentage. Eh, 31. It's, it's only a roll and... Is it even a roll if you're adamant? Doesn't just always kill? Oh. It, it's still a roll if you're adamant. Okay, just gotta check. I think Specs Typhlosion cleans up, but I gotta make sure. Black. No idea what set they run. Gonna be real. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that very much. Min Hundo? We always take that. Can we get this? Is it over? Or Sash? me to sleep. I think I just go this. Oops, I think I threw. They're not... Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, they got a very lucky 5 hit into a less lucky 2 hit. I don't pretend like the 5 hits, I guarantee. But, there we go. 
3-0. With the second battle hopefully happening later today. Seven hits is above average, by the way, for bullet seed. Or for any multi-hit. So it's actually slightly lucky on your part. But I forgot Breloom does not have skill link. So this was actually a good play. Because I am max HP with the Oh wait, I don't have defense, but I have a decent amount of speed, so he had to be jolly, I think. That doesn't matter. Won the battle. That's all that matters. So yeah. Stay thick and safe, everyone. And see you next time.